Hi there and welcome once again to the Train Aid HQ. My name is Nick and in today's video we are looking at the Level 5 Diploma in Education and Training and we are going to be investigating the most commonly asked questions in regards to the Level 5 Teaching course. In regards to the course structure, there are seven written assignments, each focusing on a different aspect of teaching and training that you'll need to complete. Also, there's a teaching portfolio of evidence containing 100 hours of teaching practice and you will also need to be observed eight times by a qualified teacher as well. In terms of deadlines, there are no uh, strict course uh, deadlines to this qualification. It's an online self-paced course. Most learners take between nine to 12 months to, to gain this qualification, but there are no uh, cut-off points or deadlines. The marking team uh, do work to five working days as well to turn around uh, marking of your assignments and your teaching portfolio. You can get in contact with the uh, the team here at the Train Aid HQ at any time to answer any questions as well. On completion of the course, you will receive a electronic certificate from TQ UK and the qualification is yours for life. It does not expire. So we are just going to investigate some of the most commonly asked questions in regards to level five. So in, in terms of the awarding body, the awarding body is TQ UK, that's Teaching Qualifi Qualifications UK. And it is indeed a regulated, accredited course. As you can see, you will receive the level five diploma in education and training, and it is an RQF uh, qualification as well. So this qualification will allow for you to be a fully qualified teacher within the post-16 sector. It is a UK-based qualification. However, many of our level five learners do teach abroad, okay? So this qualification can be used to teach abroad. UK qualifications are seen as very highly uh, abroad, but we do encourage you to, to check with the college, the organisation, uh, the school that you're thinking of applying to if you're looking to teach uh, internationally. Um, does the qualification expire? No, uh, it's yours for life. There's no need to renew the level five in any way. So once you've gained it, it's yours for, for life. Um, the average learner takes between nine to 12 months to gain this qualification. Of course, you'll be perhaps teaching part or full time. So you do need to balance uh, your studies on the level five and also your teaching responsibilities as well. The minimum age for any learner who is embarking on the level five uh, is 19 years of age. But of course, we do encourage that you are working within uh, a teaching or training role. In terms of support, what support will you uh, uh, receive when you register with the course? So in terms of support, um, the office uh, is available uh, from Monday to Friday at 9am to 5pm. So any questions about your course progress, please give us a call or you can email the team alternatively. When you begin uh, the course, you will have an hour uh, Zoom welcome meeting with one of the teachers just to iron out any questions you might have about the course. So we do arrange that with you. You can, of course, arrange any meetings uh, during the course progress. Uh, that's fine as well. Please let us know if you would like a meeting at any point. Um, you'll also receive a course textbook through the post as well. So this is the Angravel's uh, Level 5 textbook, uh, which you can use to complete your seven written assignments as well. So the textbook is very important uh, with doing the assignments. In terms of uh, your portfolio of teaching evidence, there is a number of different uh, elements of the, the portfolio which you need to complete. In regards to the teaching log, you need to log 100 teaching hours of your current practice. You'll also need to be observed eight times by a qualified teacher uh, throughout the course as well. So very important that you complete both the written assignments and also the portfolio of teaching evidence. In terms of yourself, you need to be working within a teaching or training role, have access to 100 teaching hours and can be observed eight times by a qualified teacher. So that could be a colleague, a mentor, someone who has a level five teaching qualification or higher, such as a PGCE. When you enrol onto the course, we would like for you to email to us um, the observer's uh, teaching qualification so we can save that to your file. In terms of uh, yourself, uh, you might work within 
uh, perhaps a college, a sixth form, a post-16 sector, uh, secondary, uh, an SEN school, by example, it could be within a company as well. So there are a range of uh, different organisations you might work within in order to, to gain your teaching evidence as well. So if you do have any questions, um, just to check whether you're eligible uh, for the course, please do get in contact and we'll just have a chat uh, just about the, the course requirements. Um, are there any uh, funding available for the course? Well, no, uh, there isn't at this moment in time. However, we do have flexible uh, monthly payment plans which we can uh, set you up uh, onto as well. In terms of the, the teaching hours, we do expect for you to be teaching to groups or to, uh, to classes of learners. Unfortunately, one-to-one -one hours do not count. That is more tutoring uh, rather than teaching. So you do need to be teaching to, to groups. Um, in terms of the observations, you will need to be observed eight times by a qualified teacher. You can, of course, use the train aid observation template or you can use your own organisation's um, uh, observation form if you wish. Um, the lessons are developmental, they are not graded as well. So they are there um, just to really help you uh, to become much more of a, a well-rounded teacher and to, to uh, develop on your areas for improvement, of course. Um, can I have multiple observers? Yes, you can have different observers to conduct the, the lesson observations. You do not have to have uh, the same um, observer. Um, if you're using multiple observers, please do send in their certificates so we can save to your file as well. Well, um, in terms of uh, train aid, we can, of course, observe you. Um, if you don't have a colleague or a mentor, then um, that would be an additional £30, including VAT, per observation. So if you do have uh, someone within your company or organisation, your school, um, who is a qualified teacher, then we do encourage you, you do approach them and ask them to complete um, the observations as well. How long are the observations? Well, we would suggest uh, one hour in, in order to complete um, the observation form. So that's quite important as well. In terms of the teaching portfolio, uh, many of our learners teach courses and they uh, do often repeat their teaching hours and again and again with a different class or a different set of learners. You can, of course, uh, repeat lessons, okay, and these count, can count towards your 100 hours of teaching delivery. So that is fine uh, to repeat lessons uh, towards uh, your 100 teaching hours. What happens if I fail an assignment? Okay, so with regards to the um, assignments, if you don't meet the criteria, don't worry. The marking team will give you constructive feedback and they work to five working days and they'll give you pointers, areas to improve. And so on your resubmission, uh, I'm sure you'll uh, meet the criteria, but we can have a chat or a discussion over, over the telephone, over Zoom, to give you some verbal feedback as well, if you wish. In terms of the additional fees, are there any additional fees if my assignments do not meet the, the standards? So there are no additional fees when it comes to your uh, written assignments and teaching portfolio. You can send them uh, to us uh, as often as you would like, okay? So you can. we do encourage you to send uh, your assignments, your teaching portfolio to receive formative feedback here. So please do send it across and we can keep you updated with your course program. Uh, many learners do say, how can I send my assignments and teaching portfolio uh, to you? So there are a number of ways that you can do that. OK, so we do encourage uh, you to use an electronic uh, uh, folder, but you can, of course, send your portfolio uh, in email attachments. Um, you can use Google Drive, Dropbox and also we transfer as well to send your files uh, to us uh, here at our headquarters, we can of course review your teaching evidence. In terms of resources, once again, you receive a hard copy of the textbook uh, but as soon as you register with us. You'll also receive all of the assignment uh, PDF electronic guides, uh, the assignment support documents, the videos, um, also the uh, train aid uh, teaching examples and templates as well. So you receive a lot of support and resources as soon as you uh, come onto the course as well. In terms of the entry requirements, so we do ask that you have uh, the opportunity to teach and to log 100 teaching hours. So that's very important, okay? We do appreciate it, it is a lot of hours, 
okay? If you perhaps teach less than that, uh, perhaps have a look at the level four teaching qualification as well. In terms of um, the teaching evidence portfolio, um, you can of course use your own lesson plan systems, formats, templates as well. Train Aid do provide you with example uh, lesson plans uh, of schemes of work, uh, which you can use, but we do encourage you to use your own organisations, of course. In, pr uh, in terms of finishing the qualification, what can I teach? Well, you, of course, you'll be a fully qualified teacher within the post-16 sector, and you can teach any course or qualification that you hold yourself, okay? And in terms of progression, uh, you can, of course, pursue many careers such as becoming a full or part-time teacher within a college, a sixth form. You can, of course, uh, set up your own training organisation with the level five, of course. Many of our learners do progress onto QTLS as well and receive their QTLS status and certificate. Uh, this means that they can, of course, work within a primary, a secondary or independent uh, school as well. And you'll be on the same pay scales as teachers within those establishments as well. So we do encourage you to perhaps have a look at, at uh, joining the Society for Education and Training following on from your, your level five. You will, of course, need your level two in numeracy and uh, literacy as well. OK, so when you do embark on QTLS, it's very important that you do have your level two in those qualifications. Uh, you don't need your, your level two in literacy and numeracy when completing your, your level five qualification as well. So just uh, bear that in mind if you're thinking of joining uh, QTLS and gaining that status there. Um, but of course, you can uh, deliver your own courses. We will, of course, recommend that you gain perhaps a CARDA assessing qualification if you're looking at issuing accredited course certificates. So that could be another strand uh, that you look towards there. Um, in terms of the level four, um, can the level four teaching evidence be used uh, towards the level five course? Yes, you can transfer two observations, two course units and 20 teaching hours towards level five. So if you wanted to perhaps do the level four uh, qualification, you can. And then that is the next progression onto the level five to make the level five a shorter course in terms of completion. So there is a benefit of doing the level four teaching uh, qualification first. Um, can you use this qualification uh, within primary, secondary and the independent school sector? You certainly can, but you can, of course, uh, you, you will have to achieve your QTLS status first. So do have a look on the Society for Education and Training and join them first. In terms of where can I find uh, teaching jobs? So we do encourage you to perhaps have a look at TES jobs, Read Education, uh, The Guardian jobs, and also uh, teachingvacancies.gov for the latest jobs and uh, teaching careers uh, within your area as well. In terms of the level five certificate, how long did it take to arrive? So after your uh, portfolio has been approved through the moderation process, please allow for 14 days in order for your level five teaching certificate to be emailed to you. Thank you very much for, for listening uh, to the, the video. If you do have any questions, please get in contact with the team or drop us an email and we'll answer any questions about the Level 5 Diploma. Thank you very much for watching and please do like and subscribe to our YouTube page to receive the latest videos from the team. Bye for now.